I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment, but most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you it means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you do know that I had two videos up on this one. I was quite worried at some point. I'm not one to really like worry too much about people disappearing and coming back when they want to. But the fact that we had that video that was tampered with and then you know the palace came out to confirm that it was the princess that was in the car with her husband but no one could really make out her face in the photo and then the photo with her mother people were quite worried about her appearance was it her wasn't it her people were just worried because it was just really unlike her and then people trying to get her medical records at least this one person you know it was it was quite worrying at a time or at a point I'm really sorry about what's happened now and I'm just hoping that people can just leave her to be normal to just leave her life you know now that she's come out and talked about her diagnosis um, our prayers are with her and I think that's so important at this point because you know whether they are royalty or not they're still human beings they have blood in their bodies they've got you know same feelings that we have as well so I'm just happy that everything is okay I'm really 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 hoping that people who have come out to talk about divorce and talk about you know William cheating <sighs> I just hope they can really just go away now and leave this family to be in peace. All the best to them. And um, subscribe, like, share, let me know what you're thinking and pray as up for the princess and her family.